What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sell for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Joshua, assuming Tai will allow it. How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed. But your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. You... you underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless, and when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same.
What is this place? <gasps> Don't move. It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them, or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me, I have nothing to. I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! While you're plotting our cause, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen 
I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. It all you like. It doesn't make it true. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the Last King. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beastmen and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were a rape bastard. 
But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Otherwise, well, then that changes. Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find a more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins. And though its popularity eventually waned on Storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. If it please your grace. Mid said I can ride the Enterprise. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. 
The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Run out of Papio Nassau. Respect. What's that for you, dear? That it? Fine. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Hmm? There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, oh she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. 
How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. <sighs> then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. I think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav? This place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clive. Hey, 
fallen into Ultima's hands. That's no peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Estes Labyrinth monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. <sighs> Ugh, this place reeks like a marvel's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that will kill us. Breath. Uh, don't look down, Toggle. No.
That must be Estla. What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter gap! No quarter!
Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! What did you do? If the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made. Presentable. mind telling me what the fuck just happened? <sighs> oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If His Majesty wants me to come and ask him, then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition, we don't even know where the fucker went. How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Maybe there's something here we can use. I thought we got them all. So did I. Turned, all right. Who? Oh. <laughs> 
my thanks, kind travelers. Edda, forgive me for asking, but what went on here? started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Arche. One by one, people went mad, minds taken by the ether, till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came, and I didn't know what to do. This, uh, okay, is... Just a story. Something our grandparents told us when we misbehaved. About how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. The end of the world. You said the others went mad. But where did they go? They... They all left. They all east to the tower. To Reverie. The elders. The healer. The blacksmith. My husband. Thinking he did this? Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. But then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... it's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower... That's where we'll find the king. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means that the end of these stairs should be... The mural is complete. Ultima and this vessel, Ifrit. Garuda, Ramu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. But where is the Phoenix?
by the founder. So that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? So that's how it's gonna be then? I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? <sighs> Aye. <sighs> Just don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. <sighs> if Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow. And so will I.
This is it, boy. I've come for you, Barnabas. Stay close.
If I were Barnabas, where would I be? The top. So I could look down on the world.
Almost there. He's here. I can feel him. The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Butcher. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep. They roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. 
Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens, and they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open, and so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. The Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? <laughs> What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. Yeah, 
notion of hope when there is none. Truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your God believes.
darkness. <laughs> My apologies. You are not the fool I took you for. Your 
truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. There is strength in will. Would that I had not relinquished my own. <laughs> Strive for a new world. Strive to win your master's approval. I... You were shown a fantasy, and you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world but the one we live in. That world is worth saving, even if it means killing a god. Just as the Lord's Mother Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. Uh. 
at long last. Salvation. I'm coming home. It's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There all shall end and begin again. 